to discover the route to go. Seven minutes had gone when Jerry Craney found Charlie Nicholas in the box. He let John Collins take over, but Jim Layton was quick to kill off the threat. Pips were rarely seen as an attacking force in a first half devoid of goal mouth incident. Celtic had what chances were going, but that effort from Craney was about as close as they got to a goal. Goalless at the interval, a fair reflection of the play. Hibbs' first serious threat to Pat Bonner's goal came nine minutes into the second half. Gareth Evans, though, hooking the ball over the bar. Jenny Craney was looking sharp for Celtic, and the striker came close in the 65th minute. But Leighton produced his best to deny him. Two minutes later, Hibbs were ahead. Miller's speculative ball was headed out by Gillespie, but collected by Gareth Evans who executed a neat one-two with Keith Wright and then showed remarkable composure in rounding Bonner before sliding the ball into the net. Plenty then for caretaker manager Frank Connor to think about, but his Celtic side showed spirit. Byrne and Craney combined for the latter to fire over the top in the 73rd minute. The Celtic directors pondering perhaps what Lou McCarry might be able to do to help turn around the fortunes. The worries were eased five minutes from time, though, when Gary Gillespie crossed for Jerry Craney to fire a superb equaliser past Jim Layton for a well-deserved share of the points.